Part 3. You will hear a discussion between two students and their teacher on a planned charity event. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 25. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 25. So, are you making any progress with your plans for our annual charity event? I guess first things first, have you decided what charity it will be in aid of this year? We're thinking about Help the Children Africa, sir. Well, that's Mark's idea, sir, but I myself prefer a local charity called The Meals on Wheels. I'd have to agree with Laura on this one, Mark. After all, we're supposed to be giving back to the local community, and although helping African children is a very worthy cause, it's a little outside our remit. That settles it, I guess. Moving on from the beneficiary question, have you made a decision on what type of event it will be? Yes, we plan on doing something a little different this year. We're calling the event Balloonathon. Basically, we're going to offer balloons for sale to all the students. Balloons? I don't see where you're going with this. Why would they want to buy a balloon? Well, here's the thing. We don't actually give them the balloon. Instead, we'll write their name on it along with the special phone number and then we'll release all the balloons into the air. When they fall to the ground, if a person finds one and rings a special number, then both he and the student who bought the balloon will win a gift voucher. That sounds like an excellent idea, guys. Well thought out. This balloonathon has a real novelty value attached to it, don't you think? Exactly what we said, sir. The only drawback is that the gas you put into the balloons is rather expensive. How much? About £20 per canister, and we'll need about 10 And how many balloons are you planning to blow up? Well, there are over a thousand students in the school, so if even one third of the students buy one, we'd need about 350 balloons. We've decided to order 500 so we don't run out. The good thing is we can return the canisters of gas if we don't use them, and the balloons aren't expensive, so there's no real risk of us spending a lot of money without getting a good return. You two have really thought this one out. I'm impressed. Before you hear the rest of the discussion, you have some time to look at questions 26 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 26 to 30. Thank you, sir. So, how much money do you think we can raise? Well, each balloon costs about 1p, and when it's filled with gas, it's going to cost us about 50 pence. We reckon that if we sell our balloons at a price of £1.50, and we sell all 500 of them, we'll end up making a profit of £1 per balloon. So that's £500 in total. That's fantastic. And it gets better, sir. We've secured a sponsor for our event who's going to give us £1,000. How did you find a sponsor? The balloon company we approached about buying the balloons asked us if we'd be interested in letting them sponsor us too. What's in it for them? They're going to print their logo on every balloon. I think you've done a good deal there. Thank you, sir. So, do we have your approval to confirm our order? Absolutely. But, you know, I think we can sell more balloons if we set our minds to it. So why not order double the amount? A thousand instead of five hundred. We're going to need more than ten canisters of gas, then. Double the amount, presumably. Correct. OK, let's go for it. Let's make this year's charity event our most successful ever. That is the end of part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers.